Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and in today's video let's do the tutorial on the basic, yes, actually very basic tuning on the Emu flight. Yes, Emu flight, not the beta flight or the AI nav. There is enough of the videos about how to tune the beta flight or the AI nav, for example, the videos that I made previously about the AI nav. So today let's talk about the third contender that's called the Emu flight. And in today's video, we will concentrate on what really differs the Emu flight from the beta flight. And yes, it's the famous or infamous Kalman filter or dynamic PT1, how some people call it. And I will tell you which values you should change in your Emu flight quad to obtain probably best flight performance possible with this software. And of course, what are the basic settings for this famous or infamous Kalman filter in the Emu flight itself. The first thing that you have to understand about the Imuflight Kalman filter is that the tuning of this filter is at least different than the tuning on everything else. Because with the Kalman filter, you do not tune this with cutoff frequencies or the center frequencies or the Q factor, like the Q factor are known, for example, from the RPM filters on the Metaflight. Yes, there is a Q factor on the Imuflight Kalman filter, but it's a slightly different Q factor scaled in a slightly different way. And definitely while tuning the Kalman filter, you will never use any frequencies as a unit. There is no hertz, there is no kilohertz, there is anything like that. With the Imuflight, there are three parameters that describe how the Kalman filter will be working. One is the Q factor. So yeah, Q factor, but it's a slightly different Q factor. And we're gonna call this a quality factor for the Kalman filter. There is a W setting, which does not really have that much in common with the filtering itself, but it's very important setting that sets how sensitive should the Kalman filter be. And there is finally the sharpness, but we will not be talking about the sharpness today. Today we will be talking only about the Q and the W. The first parameter we have to discuss is the Imuflight Kalman filter Q factor. Q factor, in other words, quality factor, is the information for the algorithm how much the original, non-processed, yet by the Kalman gyro signal can be trusted and how much filtering should be applied on it. As a rule of a thumb, the cleaner builds you have, that means you have fresher motors, not bended propellers and stiffer, less resonant frame, that means your Q factor quality level of trust towards the gyro signal can be higher because probably the gyro traces are cleaner from the beginning. Why? Because there is less noise produces. If, however, your quad is, let's say, not so fresh, slightly beaten up, and in general is producing more noise on the gyro signal than the other, that means that we cannot trust the gyro that much and we have to apply more filtering on itself. That means the cleaner your build, you can push the Q value higher. The less clean, older, beaten up or just noisy as hell, the less Q you can apply on the processing. This also means that because the Q factor determines how much filtering is applied, the higher you will go with the Q factor, as long as, of course, everything is uh, working fine, the less phase delay that will be introduced to the gyro signal and probably will result in the better performance. Now, how to tune it and uh, when to tune it and how this thing should be working. We will go to the configurator in a second, but uh, first, theoretical introduction. We begin with the default value of the 3000. And the default value of the 3000 is something that kind of makes most of the quads fly at least pretty well from the, from the beginning with the Emo flight. However, this is very far from the optimal value. And from my experience, majority of the at least five inch mini quads easily can have the Q factor increased from the default 3000 to the range of, let's say, between 6 and even 9000. That, let's say, 
it's a simplification there will be three times less filtering on the gyro signal done with the default. As a result, of course, we will get the faster response of the filter, less phase delay, better performance, better handling, because, of course, the this is the assumption that the quad is relatively noise-free and is not producing too much noise on the, on the everything that's happening around. So, from my experience, but majority of my uh, quads are, let's say, relatively clean builds, I was able to increase the Q from around 3000 to usually 6000. I know that some people suggest even going up to 9000 on even more, but however, in my case, I was not really seeing much of the improvement in the flight performance. However, there was something like the motors were getting slightly maybe hotter, so I was not really interested in push it higher than the at least I think it's seven and a half thousand was the the original the, the maximum value I actually practically used on the emo flight and my five inch builds however with the bigger quads like for example seven inches here honestly I in my most of my builds I tested with the emo flight and there were two seven inches, one cruiser and one freestyler. Freestyler, I was the happiest at around 5,000. But this one more time depends on the amount of noise generated by the quad itself. Another setting that describes the Imuflight Kalman filter behavior is the W. W determines how many samples, gyro samples on each axis separately, are taken into consideration to finding out how noisy the signal is. That means if the signal is noisy, then more filtering will be applied. And if it's less noisy than something, then the filtering will be slightly loosened to give less phase delay and better performance. So this, this, this one value, the W for the Kalman filter, determines how many samples are used to compute the variance. Let's skip the mathematics, it really makes no sense. So, the variance. We begin with the default value of 39. And with 39, not 39, oh, Pavel, get yourself together, we begin with 32. With the 32, it means that the variance, the value that's used to determine if the signal is clean or not so clean, the 32 samples will be used to, to drive the behavior of the, of the filtering in the Kalman filter. And uh, usually this is, let's say, a good starting value. Uh, let's let's go back uh, a second. 32 with 8 kilohertz uh, gyro sampling rate. That means that 4 milliseconds of the gyro signal are taken to determine if the signal is noisy and there should be more filtering or less filtering applied. Now, this information also force us, not the force us, allows us to tune the Kalman filter depending on the usage of the quad and the size of the quad itself. Because the shorter the window, the less the W parameter on the Kalman filter, the filter will be faster respond, faster change the amount of the filtering applied depending on the condition outside. The bigger the window uh, will be, the change of the filter behavior will be more sedated. And the rule of a thumb is, uh, if you want racing, then probably you should lower the W from the default 32 to even, even 8, maybe 16, just go uh, slightly lower. 32 up to 64 is, let's say, completely absolutely fine for the general purpose 5-inch uh, freestyle machine. And the bigger the propeller size is getting, the best results are achieved when the window of the uh, the, the checking of the quality of the of the incoming signal should be bigger. One more time, rule of a thumb, with the 7 inches you can go even 128, maybe even up to 200. With, for example, something as big as the X-Class, probably you can even go to 300. But 
start always from the original 32 and uh, the more, uh, let's say, smoother flight you want, you will probably, and the less um, energetic flight you are doing, probably the best results will be achieved with slightly longer uh, window, more W. So, as a rule of a thumb, 32 usually fine for everyone. If you're more into racing, then lower this to 16 or to 8. If you are flying something bigger than the 5 incher, then check 128 for the 7 inches and maybe even 200 or something even bigger than the 7 inches. The settings for the ImuFlight Kalman filter are of course available in the ImuFlight configurator in the PID tuning tab. Here, besides the traditional PID derivatives and so on, here on the filter settings sub tab, we have um, honestly slightly maybe hidden, maybe this should be made slightly more visible, settings for the Kalman Q factor on the roll axis pitch axis and the yaw axis, as well as the W settings and the sharpness. But like I said before, we will not be talking about the sharpness today at all. What's important, the Q factor for each axis in the EMU flight is made, it's tunable separately. That means you can separately tune the Q for roll, pitch and yaw. For the initial tuning, really like the initial approach to tuning your EMU flight, I really strongly suggest to setting the same Q factor on all three accesses. Later, when we, you will be really fine tuning the behavior, you might, for example, notice that there is too much noise going to the yaw axis. That means that probably the Q factor on the yaw, the quality, the, the trust level for the, for the gyro signal, should be maybe lowered on the yaw, but this is really for the final stage of the tuning. And because probably you will be using this on the 5 inch mini quad and uh, maybe maybe a tiny whoop or something like that, the value that probably will be working in majority of the cases if you do not have like super noisy build that's just doing crazy stuff everywhere, the values that make sense are at least should be around 6,000 on each axis. But bear in mind, this is only a rule of a thumb. This is the guesstimate. To have best performance, you should tuning, tune it by gradually increasing the Q factor, observing the behavior and adjusting in the future. By the way, in the second, in the, in the ending sequence of the video, there will be an algorithm how to do it described. And of course we have the parameter for the W, the length of the of the window size used to drive the Kalman filter itself. Only here, only in this place, no magic needed, no CLI needed. You have the configurator, you can tune the Kalman on the Inmo flight without much of a hassle. Like I mentioned before, today we will not talk about the sharpness parameter. I will leave this one for the special occasion later. Now, the summary. Now you know what are the most important settings for the Imuflight Kalman filter and how you can adjust them and when you should adjust them. As a rule of a thumb, on the 5 inches, the most uh, common probably type of uh, mini quads. The defaults, probably you should update the Q and trace the Q to at least 6000 6, to get the best results. And uh, you probably do not have to touch the W parameter at all. However, the bigger the uh, quad gets, the bigger the UAV gets, then probably raising the Q factor not always might be a great idea, but you should do it. And always with the bigger propeller, you should increase the W parameter, the window size for the analysis of the gyro signal. The best way to do it is um, increase the Q on both on all three axes in the steps of 
let's say 500, even up to 1000, if you are not really interested in super precise tuning on everything. So begin with the thousands and you should see the improvements of the handling of the quad. On one point, the, there will be no improvement, but there might be slight degradation of the, of the quality of the flight. Something might be start happening when you throttle up, when you start a roll, end a roll. Some vibration in the different moments might start, start to appear. This is the signal that the, probably your Q factor is right now slightly too high. So go one step lower. If you are using 500 increments, then go 500 down. If you are using 1000 increments, go 1000 uh, of the Q down and recheck again. When you find the sweet spot, then we can talk about the tuning the PID controller and all the other goodies that come out with the with the Emu flight itself. So that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Until the next one. Bye bye.